Hello engineers, welcome back. In this video, I will explain about the procedure for main engine cross set bearing removal. I have to remove all my units cross set bearing because all my cross set bearing failed. You can see this white metal almost all came out from the steel backup. Bring the particular unit to BDZ and place the jacks four jacks to remove the crossed bearing bolts once the jacks are placed raise the bearing raise the pressure hydraulic pressure to 1500 bar which is the opening pressure given in the manual so once you reach the pressure loosen all the four bearing bolts keep two bearing bolts on opposite side and take out the other two bolts Connect the eye bolt on the cross head pin to take cross head wedge. Connect an eye bolt which is M16 near the stuffing box so which has a safe working load of 110 each so that it will take the collective weight of cross head and piston. Then connect the T shackle to eye bolt for the chain block. Connect another two eye bolt M12 near stuffing box to remove the cross head bearing upper part. Once four eye bolts and four D shackles connected, place the four chain blocks. The two outermost chain blocks should be of safe working load two tons and above to take the cross head and piston wedge. Then connect this tool to connecting rod on the both sides to keep the connecting rod in position. Then connect D shackles and chain blocks on the both side of crankcase door to creep the connecting rod in position. Then tight the chain blocks on both sides equally so that connecting rod will not move during the bearing renewal. Once both sides are equally tight, connect the two outermost 2 ton chain block to the cross head pin and take weight little bit. Then remove the two cross head bearing bolts. Once all four bolts are removed and cross head pin and piston weights are taken on two ton chain block and the connecting rod is fully tightened on both sides. Then lift the cross head bearing upper part using the two inner chain blocks. Then lift the cross head pin using two outermost two ton chain block for a safe distance above the cross head bearing studs. When you are lifting this cross head pin, the two persons on the opposite side should equally lift the cross head pin. Lift up to a distance that it is fully cleared off from the cross head bearing studs. Here I have to wipe out this white metal chips before taking bearing out so that it will not fall into the lubile passage of the main bearing. Slowly bring the connecting rod to the crankcase door opening side using the chain blocks to facilitate the bearing renewal and pin polish. I said earlier that all my cross head bearings have failed and white metal came off from the steel backup. That is because of bearing design fault. 
so here you can see this i am removing the white metal chips on the pin and this white metal chips scratches the pin you can see on bearing that this white metal damage was up to the end of the bearing i will show you the scratch and how to check it you can see this light reflection on the pin which is evenly and if scratches is there you can see that light is not reflected it is scattered in the scratch area you can see that i had scratches on the downside of the pin which i cannot able to show so we are proceeding for the pin polish first 120 mm paper then it is 180 even though the number was not mentioned here it is 180 ada apa then it is 13 micron emery paper it's a 3m brand 30 micron then it's 15 micron it's 15 micron paper once the polishing is finished you have to check the surface roughness using the surface roughness tester here i am checking the surface roughness around the pin so where are the scratches was there we have to check the roughness all over the pin so that it was evenly polished i exactly don't know what is the acceptable range but that service engineer told that 0.5 0.052.10 was accepted then remove the bearing locking align bolts on the both side of the bearings to take out the bearing then take out the bearing with little blow on the other end using the teflon hammer and using scratch bright clean the bearing surface on the connecting rod and make sure that this lube oil passage to the crank pin bearing is clean and safe once cleaning is finish inspect the bearing surface and lube oil passage to crank pin bearing and cross at bearing upper part please note here i had damages to lower part of the bearing only mostly it is a loaded part on the crosshead bearing man bnw service engineers recommend that they have to change only lower bearings of aluminum tin type of bearing instead of white metal bearing the white metal and aluminum tin metal bearing you can easily differentiate by using color the white metal bearing is white in color and aluminum tin bearing is black in color place the bearing in correct position and put back the align bolts and tighten it against moving
then bring back the connecting rod to the pin position and align the connecting rod exactly below the pin then apply some oil on the bearing and the pin and start lowering the pin using two two ton outermost chain blocks so make sure that the connecting rod is perfectly aligned when you are lowering the pin while lowering two person should lower simultaneously on the both side and make sure that the pin does not touch the studs here i had a problem that crossed lower bearing edge on the aft side is touching the pin so using cow bar i am moving the connecting rod forward to safely accommodate the pin in the bearing without damaging the bearing edges Once pin sits on the bearing, remove the piston and cross it weight on the two outermost two ton chain block, and loosen the chain blocks. Then apply some oil on the upper part of the bearing, and start lowering the top cross it bearing top part using the two innermost chain blocks. while lowering the upper part of the bearing make sure that it sits correctly on the locking pin which i am showed in the diagram then remove the chain block and the eye bolts on the upper part of the bearing then put the all four bearing nuts
all bearing nets are equally tight and then loosen the chain blocks all chain blocks and remove all the chain blocks from the crankcase then place the hydraulic jacks and in order to save the hydraulic jack piston opening too much first raise the hydraulic pressure to around 50 or 100 bar then tight the hydraulic nets and then lower the hydraulic pressure and tighten the hydraulic jacks then increase the jack pressure to tightening pressure 1500 bar MAN BNW technicians ensures that the net are properly tightened to 1500 bar by increasing the pressure to one more time 1500 bar after tightening the nets at first time. Then remove all the tools like hydraulic jack, chain blocks and eye bolts from the crankcase before closing it. Thank you engineers for watching. Support me.